My name is Sean Dean. I live in Minneapolis. I am an attorney, disability consultant, and disability advocate. I had a spinal cord injury on July 12, 1996, when I was 17. I am now a C6-7 uh, incomplete quadriplegic. I spent two and a half months in a rehab in a local hospital, two months at Craig Hospital in Denver. I am planning on starting a Minnesota chapter of the National Spinal Cord Injury Association, hoping it would be a uh, full reference point for all people with spinal cord injuries uh, as they go from newly injured all the way till later on in their life. Uh, well, this is kind of the, the short history of me and standing was I, like I mentioned, I, I did um, some standing here and there when I was in rehab after my post-injury rehab out in Denver. And then after I moved back home, we got a standing machine within six months that I had on my own. And I used as much as I could, but it was pretty infrequent because I didn't really have a established kind of, you know, home rehab, I guess, pattern of doing it. I didn't have PTs that came in after school or anything, and I didn't have time in the morning. And, um, the home health aides I had in the morning, uh, they were on, uh, their, their schedule was such that they were only really in for a few hours, so there wasn't time to have them sit around while I was standing. And then later on when I moved to Minneapolis to start law school, uh, we brought it up and I had uh, PCAs in the morning that uh, on my shorter mornings where I just got up and didn't do any of my other longer personal cares. I, I worked that in, I, I established that right away, that this is a part of my morning routine, you know, I'll get up and, you know, brush my teeth, wash my hair, whatever, and then right away break out the stander and get in it and stand for about a half hour, you know, hour while I eat breakfast and watch ESPN. Then about a year ago I was, um, I went in to see a a spinal cord injury specific doctor for something completely unrelated. I forgot what it was, but as she did her initial consultation with me, she suggested I do a, a bone mineral density scan because I think I wanted to use an FES bike, which uh, you know works your legs for you. And the, the big thing was making sure that your hips and lower spine were strong enough to go through the repetitive biking motion. And I did a bone mineral density scan and took my complete shock. Um, she had diagnosed me with severe osteoporosis, which, you know, I was 31 at the time, which is a total shock. I mean, as far as I was concerned, that was kind of a, you know, like quote unquote old ladies issue or something like that. And, uh, you know, senior citizen thing. I mean, I've only heard of people my grandma's age having osteoporosis, so that was a surprise. And I asked her, what did I do wrong or why was that? And she said, I, sitting in a wheelchair for 13 years, did it. And I, I told her that I still you know, laid down to sleep, obviously, and stood every now and again. And then she said that um, it was uh, it was mostly the fact that you, I was sitting. I mean, vast majority of the time. And uh, I, I, of course, then immediately thought of my infrequency of standing all those years. And in that instant, I was immediately regretful when I found out I had osteoporosis because my first thought was, man, I should have stood a lot more. But that's why I'm glad that I have stood as frequently as I have over the past. I guess go almost seven years now. I mean, like I said, I, I do it at least, at least every other day in the morning. Yeah.